Hey, what's up guys, Eskazoo here, and welcome to episode 5 of Team of the Year Fatal. And in today's episode, we're going to be playing the final two games for this season in order to upgrade our squad. But before we're going to be doing that, we're going to be showing you guys the two pairs from the previous episode, which you guys were able to choose from. We have pair 1, Pepe and Jordi Alba, and pair 2, Koscielny and Bellerin. And uh, pair 1 is actually the winner, even though you guys actually prefer to see maybe a better goalkeeper instead, because we were able to get like the likes of David De Gea or something. But I decided to go with Jordi Alba and Pepe, because I felt those were the two players I definitely need in the squad, or Koscielny and Bellerin, because... I've used those players so many times before already in FIFA. And goalkeeper-wise, it didn't really matter because I like most of the goalkeepers from La Liga. So it was a uh, it was an easy option for me to go with the centre-backs or at least the defenders, basically. But anyway, we go to the first game. We came against a uh, Premier League side with actually some decent-looking players and actually ended up being a subscriber as well. So uh, going into this game, at the start, I didn't know it was a subscriber. He actually messaged me uh, throughout the game. So um, yeah, my aim, of course, was to get as many goals as possible. We start off really great on the counter with Iniesta. Some beautiful... Beautiful skill moves. I wish he would have taken a shot with his right foot because uh, then it probably would have gone in. But uh, a good save from his goalkeeper. Then in the 14th minute, he set some pressure on me. We kicked the ball uh, away with the goalkeeper, which resulted in him going on the attack again. He plays it on through to Evan Ramsey, who shoots it across goal and finishes it off to make it 1 0 for him. So uh, we go down 30k after we already had a big chance at the start of the game. Then 40th minute, we got a chance with Bonarfa, and these were the kind of chances we had throughout the first half. A lot of like pass and movement, but the shot just ended up getting blocked every single time by his defenders, so uh, it was a good job from him. Then 43rd minute, look at that for a strike from Bufal, the five-star skiller, an amazing goal there with his left foot, and uh, he makes it 2-0, so we go down 60k. Definitely something I didn't expect when I went into this game. So uh, on a stroke of half time, we got another huge chance. I thought this was going to be a goal. But then Lacazette completely blew it. I really, really thought that this was going to be a goal. But sometimes for me, he just misses like the weirdest chances. Usually it is with his weaker foot. But this time it was actually with his stronger, uh, strongest foot. So um, yeah, I was kind of surprised. Half time, looking at the stats, it was very, very even. So... Being 2-0 down, I felt was uh, not really that deserved. I felt we deserved a little bit more. And we actually proved that into the second half because you can see after a few minutes, we already got ourselves a goal back. We make it 2-1 here with Griezmann. I really, really like him. He is uh, probably one of my favorite players, if not my favorite player in this team so far. Then uh, a few minutes later, some great stuff there on the right-hand side with Ben Arfa also doing a great job into this team. Uh, linking up here with Griezmann with some great skill moves too. I saw Iniesta completely free, but I didn't want to take the risk to go with a, like, a uh, far post cross. Went with a near post cross, his defender got, uh, got a touch on it, and yeah, we couldn't really get like a proper shot in. 65th minute, we get fouled here with Griezmann, no free kicks at the referee, but we still go through here with Lacazette. A great beer spin in between the two defenders, but a brilliant save there from his goalkeeper as well. So we got a corner, we cross it in with Luka Modric, and it is at the far post. Uh, and Zonzi, our CDM, who made it 2-2 and uh, brought the coin total back to zero. So uh, at least if we score a goal now, we actually get some coins to spend, which we uh, hopefully uh, hopefully get to spend at the end of the episode. The 70th minute we go, so my great uh, stop there from Iniesta. I actually intercept the ball and set up this whole play himself. Uh, went with some skill moves, plays it on through here to Griezmann. Could have gone with a far post uh, cross again, but decided to pass it back to Iniesta. I actually aimed for Lacazette, but it was the captain himself who finished this attack off. And I seriously love this goal so much because, as I said before, he actually... Like intercepted the ball himself and I actually scored this goal too so it was just an, uh, an amazing goal I felt especially since it was a 3-2 for us too uh, then my opponent I think hit the post there with Mane very close to make it 3-3 78th minutes too many skill moves from my side here with Benarfa which resulted in uh, my opponent going on the attack here with those pacey players in Rashford, Mane and also Buffal, and he plays a through ball there to Mane. I thought I had him there with Pepe, but he managed to go through. We set some pressure with Jordi Alba, which was enough to actually uh, miss that shot with uh, with Mane, I believe it was. So, um, yeah, we move on from the goal kick. We go on the attack again. Iniesta going through after some great stuff from uh, Lacazette and also Griezmann, and he finished it off to make it 4-2 and bring the coin total to uh, 100k. It was, uh, it was a really exciting game, especially since we were 2-0 down and actually ended up being 4-2 uh, uh, up right now at, towards the end of the game. The 90th minute, want to get one more goal, which we got here with Bonarfa. Lovely, uh, no look finish to make it 5-2 and bring the coin total to 130k. And the man of the match of this game was definitely Iniesta. He played amazing and you can see from the stats that we had so many chances, probably could have scored more goals 
But uh, you know how it is in FIFA. Sometimes it doesn't go your way. But uh, in the second half, it definitely, uh, definitely did for us. So, um, yeah, one to 30k after one game is uh, a really, really nice start for this final episode. Then moving on, what will be the second game we come against a league inside with also the transferred version of Depay as his uh, left winger. For me, the first time come up against him. And uh, we started things off here in the 11th minute with Lacazette on the midfield going on the attack. A nice roulette there, plays it on through to Ben Arfa on the right hand side. And uh, you can see from my playstyle already that I was doing more skill moves than I usually would do in Fatal. Because obviously it was already up 130k, so my kind of aim was to score some better goals at least. To kind of entertain you instead of just scoring sweaty goals only. Uh, but uh, anyway, we move on here, 23rd minute, off to it, a chance with Bernafa. We, uh, we hit this defenders. We kind of had the same thing here with Griezmann. Even though uh, we did go with some great skill moves, we hit the defender there again. But then from the rebound, we get another shot in. Easy save for the keeper. And in the first half, we just completely dominate my opponent. We had so many chances already in, uh, in only 30 minutes of play. And the goalkeeper just kept on saving everything. Then uh, in the 40th minute again from a corner we get another chance after he tried to uh, clear it away there with volley there with Griezmann, another good save from his goalkeeper. Then 45th minute right inside Ben Arfa with some skill moves, you can see from his uh, defender the number 2, he was actually tracking back and whenever my opponent does it, it is just so easy to get past him with just doing LTRT dribbling. Unfortunately the pass across goal wasn't that great so uh, again no goal and you can see from the halftime stats it was just complete domination for us. Six shots on target, uh, eight in total. So we definitely should have scored at least once in the first half. We're only five minutes into the second half and we actually do finally score with Lacazette after a nice skill there from uh, Ben Arfa to cut inside. We finally got that deserved lead. Then uh, only a few minutes later, Lacazette there on the ball. A crazy through ball there to Ben Arfa. And I first thought it was going to be uh, out of play and I think my opponent thought the exact same thing because he actually stopped playing. We kept him with the Berber spin. He ran towards the near post. We passed it across to our CDM and Zonzi who once again scores, makes it 2-0, brings the coin total to 60k. And straight after it, my opponent decided to rage quit, which meant we got another 50k on top of it. So um, yeah, we ended up winning this game 2-0. We got a rage quit yet again. I think like the third or fourth time in uh, this season of Fatal already. And uh, we got 110k uh, from this game. You can see from the stats as well in the second half, we also had a few chances, but we're still really, really early. And um, yeah, at the end, we managed to get 240k to spend on the final two players. And uh, we obviously still have to upgrade the goalkeeper and the right back. So I had a legend in mind, which I really want to have in net in case I, uh, I had the coins to afford him. That was going to be Jens Lehmann. He is going to be the one we're going to be using in goal. But I'm still not fully sure which right back we should go with. I decided to go with Info Montoya as the right back. And as the second option, we have Aurier from Paris Saint-Germain. So, um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. I know I maybe could have gone with squad building challenge version of uh, De Marcos, who looks insane. But I don't have him in my club, so I can't go with him, unfortunately. But anyway, uh, these are the options. Let me know in the comments down below which pair I should go with. As always, I'll leave two pairs in the comments down below, which you can vote on. That is the way we're going to be deciding it. So, um, yeah, that's going to be the end. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.